So in this video, I'll show you step by step how to install VirtualBox and then how to install Linux Ubuntu on your PC. So that's what I'll do in this video first. So let's go on Google and let's search together for VirtualBox. That's, uh, that's a software which is totally free, by the way. So that's really nice. So just uh, click on Oracle VirtualBox and find, uh, you know, there's a big download button. So I guess I can download it here, right? Uh, and you will find different kind of distribution for Windows, for Mac, uh, for Linux. And just download the one for Windows and just wait that uh, you have it. And then let's install it together. Okay, I got my uh, VirtualBox downloaded, so let's just install it and you'll see that it's actually very straightforward. So let's open the installer and let's follow the steps to install my VirtualBox. So um, if you don't know what is a virtualization software, well, what it is basically is that it's some kind of um, software that will let you run other systems inside your uh, current system. Okay, so let's click on next. Next. Okay, let's create all the shortcuts and let's install it. So it, it works. So it's called a box because it's, uh, it's some kind of box, you can say, on which you can have several systems. So you can have uh, several versions of Linux, you can have even Win another Windows computer inside your Windows computer uh, and that's really powerful if you want to uh, to run different kind of tests on uh, systems. Okay, it asks you if I want to install the Universal Serial Bus. Okay, let's install it. Install. Okay, install. Okay, so everything went fine, and now I'm entering my uh, VirtualBox environment. So now the problem is that uh, there's nothing inside, right? So I need to create uh, a new uh, operating system. So before I uh, actually do that, I'll need to, to get an ISO of my, uh, of my system. So um, for Code Aster, Let's go back on the website to, to look what was the requirement and let's just download the appropriate version of uh, Linux. Okay, back on Codaster website, let's just take a look at the Linux distributions. So this version has been tested with the following 64-byte Linux distribution, Ubuntu 16.04, okay, and Debian 8. So this... Um, there are several distributions for Linux. So distribution is like, um, you can understand it as a different version of the system. Uh, and Ubuntu is one of those. So um, I'll just go on Google and let's search for Ubuntu website, which is ubuntu.com, right? Uh, and now that we are on this website, the only thing we have to do is to go on the download section and get Ubuntu, right? Uh, and to install it, to be able to install it on our um, virtual box, we need to download the ISO version. So let's see, Ubuntu desktop. Let's click on that. So I guess I guess this is it. Let's look at all the kind of downloads they have. Okay, I suppose that this is it. So let's just download this one. Okay, and they not now. 
so this is uh, totally free so you can get it for free and let's start the download so I'll wait that the download is completed and then we'll install it together on our virtual box okay now that I have my uh, Ubuntu 16 ISO file downloaded uh, I only have to open my virtual box software and install it so let's click on new and let's just give it a name Ubuntu and you see that you can install a lot of systems but what we want is Ubuntu 64 bit let's click on next and let's give it uh, enough uh, memory so as we will do some FEA I think 4 giga is uh, minimum so if you have a bigger uh, computer with more memory then you can uh, you can actually use more now you can uh, create a virtual hard drive or use an e existing virtual hard drive so I don't have so I will create a virtual hard drive uh, and I'll use a virtual box disk image with uh, dynamic load size now for the, the size of this we can give it as much as we want so I'll give it 20 giga let's say and now I have uh, some system now it's powered off and we need to give it the CD that we downloaded so this ISO file is like a uh, system CD so we we need to go into this box and kind of find a way to to give him to start with the ISO so to do that right click settings uh, inside the settings there is a uh, storage and you see that you have some virtual drivers so basically what you have to do here is select the one which is empty here uh, and you have to find the virtual optical uh, disk file on your desktop and assign it and now when you will start your system it will automatically boot from uh, this CD so and also there are other settings we can change so let's go in general advanced and let's for example share the clipboard and the drag and drop functions so we can share uh, things between the virtual box and, and uh, or a current computer and for the system let's let's uh, boot it on the optical drive rather than uh, on floppy uh, disk we can we have to give it also uh, s several CPU so 4 CPU is not right because it will take all your uh, computing power so let's give it 2 CPUs and that's basically it so you can always you know to, uh, change your settings later so let's click on OK and now now we have to install Ubuntu so we have to start this virtual machine by clicking on start and we are now uh, starting and booting up our machine so it's like another computer inside uh, the computer so it tells me that my keyboard and my mouse will actually be used which is great because I don't have others and it's starting you see it uh, it's starting from the CD so I put it in full screen and now that's when you actually start and you install Ubuntu uh, in the language you want so I suggest to install it in English uh, but you're free to do uh, what you want okay now let's uh, click on download the updates uh, while installing Ubuntu and also install the third-party software for graphics etc So we have to go through all the process um, and as this is a virtual machine 
we can simply erase the disk and install Ubuntu uh, like that. So choose the first option and install it. Continue. Now you have to choose where you are. And you have to choose also uh, your keyboard. And now just enter the information and choose a password. And I will have to wait a few minutes that it completes the installation. Okay, so we got uh, the installation is complete. So now we just have to restart our virtual machine. Okay, we have to remove. Um, we have to remove the installation medium, which means that we have to remove the CD. Okay, it's not here anyway, so that's okay. So we can just press enter, and it restarts. And that's it, we just have to enter the password and we are for new clean installation of uh, Ubuntu 16 Linux. So it's nice now, it gives you uh, some uh, keyboard shortcuts for those who don't know how to, how to handle Linux. Um, and actually what I'll be doing is that in the next videos I'll show you first some of the most basic things you must know about Ubuntu in order to be able to install softwares and uh, uh, kind of work with it more efficiently. Uh, really simple stuff. I'm not, I will not enter in really in the details. And then finally uh, we will install together Code Aster. Uh, Salome Mecca 2017 and start to work with FEA uh, and Codaster together. So in the next video I'll show you a few basic things you should uh, know if you're a beginner in uh, Linux Ubuntu because that's really useful to start with uh, Linux Ubuntu. Otherwise if you already uh, used Linux for some time and you don't need that you can Pass the next video and go to the last one where I show you how to install Salome Mecha 2017 on your PC. So if you're on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog fefall.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles. I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.